for so long, we as women were not allowed to have anything to do with battle, protecting our communities, protecting our country. We didn't have a voice. I refuse. I refuse as a woman. I refuse as a black woman. I refuse as a human to shut up any longer. I'm not just a soldier for India Beatty. I'm a soldier for every one of our children that have been unjustifiably taken away from us. They see her face and they know her name and I'm gonna ensure that they remember her name. I feel that me being there is also uplifting the spirit of my daughter because she was a revolutionist, because she was a warrior woman, and we're warrior women. Going to that march and walking with all my sisters, thousands and thousands of my sisters, even in death, I will be a part of history. I worry that many people don't really understand that this is not a game, that things can happen in six months, six weeks, that took 60 years to put together. And there's this inherent trust in our democratic process so much that now that it's unraveling, people think it's still magically gonna protect us. So one has to put one's body where one's politics are. One has to put one's soul um, into the demand for a life that is sustained by our government, not destroyed by our government. We're the majority of this country and it's important for us to have this mark to remind people of that. It's important that we lift up all of the issues that we're demanding. One is the end to police violence against women of color. Is anyone with us on that? You have a voice, you have, you know, a body, use it. Let them see that you actually care. You know, I'm not from here, I flew here, so that means I'm actually making you know, the distance, I'm going the mileage to, you know, speak up for what I believe in. AAPF people. AAPF people. Follow the one billion rising sign. Follow the one billion rising sign. Rise against the predator. Rise against the predator. Stay tight. Stay tight. <laughs> all right. All right. Stay tight. All right. Stay tight. All right. My name is Frances Garrett. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I came down for the march and um, I'm 73 years old. I have been protesting and been an advocate for years. I'm here for the rights of my daughter who was killed by the Phoenix Police Department and other mothers who are here fighting for the rights for their loved ones who have been murdered by the hands of the police. It's great for me to lift my voice in a space like this where there's so many different types of people to remind people of my experience as a black woman living in America because that's, that's a part of what comes out of me and my body and my sound. I'm just worried that an already precarious, already vulnerable position is made even more so and what that will mean when protection is not guaranteed. We were slaves, and they're trying to push us back. That ain't gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Because we as women, we built this country. My biggest fear would be not to march. My fear would be realizing that I didn't put my all 
to something that's right. That's something that we was born into a right of having. How could I not? How could I not?